Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, and log into our VirtualBox here. So I went into my flash drive, VirtualBox, Portable VirtualBox, Portable VirtualBox, so we would see. So we're going to launch VirtualBox. Okay, so VirtualBox is launching here. Okay, so VirtualBox comes up here. Uh, notice our Ubuntu is powered off, so we're going to go ahead and highlight it and start it. I'm going to go ahead and set the preview down to uh, every 10 seconds here. I don't know if it affects how much it affects your performance, but it has to do something there. Okay, so it's still starting up here. And we're still waiting here for it to start up. We just want to let it run and do its thing. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and log in as Ubuntu. Uh, remember that the login screen is a little bit wacky. And then all of a sudden it'll pop back out and you can format it correctly. Okay, there it goes. I accidentally clicked the login button. Hmm. Okay, so it waited a couple seconds there. That's actually a security feature. Uh, that 
this allows somebody from guessing, you know, a lot of passwords very quickly. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and type in word reverse, R-E-B-E-R-S-E, -E -E, and login. Okay, now in this video, we're just going to quickly go through a, a couple of tasks here. Okay, now we notice, uh, let's take a quick look at um, the Zubuntu environment because uh, um, it has a couple of features you might not be familiar with. First of all, you get on the bottom right hand corner, you can have multiple desktops here. Okay, so you can have two workspaces. Um, you don't need, really need to go in there into that. This is just show your desktop, hide everything, and show your desktop. Okay, places. Um, these are your main folders. This is just like looking at your computer or your libraries in Windows 7. Applications is very similar to the to the Windows menu. Um, then over here we have battery and networking uh, information. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead. Um, and here is uh, of course Firefox. Um, now I've if you're connected to the internet uh, on your computer, <clears throat> it seems to do a pretty good job of detecting that connection and using it for the virtual computer. Um, so if you notice, we went ahead and launched this. So this is on the internet right now. Um, I'm wirelessly connected through Windows. Okay, so we we'll go ahead and close that up. Um, the first thing we want to do is take a look at these updates. This red arrow will come up if we click on it. This will allow you to update your, your computer. Um, and uh, um, You're going to get this um, warning right here, but don't worry about it. Uh, mainly we're using a kind of an older version of uh, of the Zubuntu because of the because of the fact that we want to use less computer resources. Uh, excuse me. <clears throat> okay, so it's going to tell you about upgrading, and also going to, it's going to tell you about installing updates. So uh, let's go ahead. Um, Okay, so we can go ahead and install the updates now, or we can just wait. And we're just going to go ahead and wait. So if it closes, something you can come back and do it if you so choose. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Applications. And we're going to go to System. And we're going to go to Synaptic, Synaptic Package Manager. Okay. You know, you have a lot of stuff already installed on this computer. Okay, now on different types of um, different types of Ubuntu, uh, you have different things. Okay, and um, uh, Synaptic Package Man Package Manager isn't the easiest thing ever to to uh, install things on to use to install things on um, uh, Ubuntu, but it works. Um, okay, so we go ahead and enter our password reverse, and we get into the Synaptic Package Manager. Okay, you should go ahead and read this information. Okay, so basically what it's saying is when you install things, um, on Zubuntu, it's, it's uh, organized into packages. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and search on game. Okay, you'll notice that they try to kind of um, 
kind of organize things over here, uh, really I've noticed that the best, uh, the best thing to do is just to go ahead and, um, and search. So let's search a game. Click enter. And you're going to get quite a few results here. Okay. Well, how do you know what you want to, uh, to install, right? Well, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to go online, okay, and, uh, and look up uh, different types of games. Okay, so let's take a look at this one in particular. Um, okay, so this is uh, Alzarin Tetris. Includes multiplayer support, user sense of color, and shapes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and install that. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, we're going to click on it, click Mark for Installation. And what the package manager is going to do is it's going to look for other things that are needed to make that particular package run. Okay, so to get um, to get this game to run, we need to also install this other um, other package. So that's fine. So we click mark. Okay, so <clears throat> when we selected everything that we want to install, we go ahead and click apply. Okay. I'm going to click apply. Okay, so you'll go ahead and download the package files. And then it will install the software for you. Okay, so it says uh, changes have been applied, so we can go ahead and click close. Now if we go to applications, and we go to games, okay, so we have the one that we just installed, Atris, that's how you pronounce it. Okay, so I went ahead and launched the, the game. Not sure that I clicked it correctly, so let's go ahead and click, click in. And there we go. Okay, so not the world's greatest game, but but it is a game nonetheless. Um, let's go ahead and escape out of this game. So I'm going to go ahead and click escape, or actually go over and click quit. Okay, so I'm back to my uh, Zubuntu desktop. You're going to notice that when you're running this Ubuntu on a virtual box, um, it's going to run a little bit slower than you would expect. Um, and that's okay. You're not going to be doing so many things on, on the virtual box that you, uh, that, uh, it'll slow you down that much.
Okay. It went ahead and popped up with a restart, um, so I'm guessing that something's happened with the operating system. But that's uh, that's the main thing, um, so I don't suggest you choose the game that I chose. Uh, but let's go ahead and just uh, shut down the system at this point. So that's the end of the tutorial number two on how to install applications. Remember, I'm going to shut down from inside Zubuntu. Um, and then I'm going to eject my flash drive. Uh, give it a shot.